Chicken here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about the maintenance break that we got yesterday and uh, just exactly what that meant. But uh, but first, before we get into that, guys, we have uh, we have an operation hit to do here. And I'm thinking we can we can do it unboosted. Um, there's really not that, much, not that much left, excuse me, but um, I think we only need two shocks and... Um, maybe one batch of critters if that guys so we're gonna go ahead and dive in unboosted it is the last tack the operation so hopefully hopefully this goes well um i can take out this rocket with one artillery which is going to be <clears throat> which basically saves the entire raid because if i couldn't do that and i needed three shocks i think that would just be too much gbe honestly um so for the landing i'm not gonna do the flare down thing and we we just like we just about ruined it right there guys like what was that chicken what was that um okay so we're gonna smoke them down like this flare them back in oh guys i smell a chicken fail coming up i'm smelling a chicken fail oh this isn't going good we just gotta get back here chicken with a, a couple of the zooks that's all we gotta do just get back there just get back there we're, we're getting roasted and toasted guys this isn't going well I'm um, hoping that we can pull this off. I wasted too many smokes. The GP is gonna be tight. Oh my god um, Good thing is though we will be able to get them all under one smoke, so that's gonna help a little bit I guess but uh, Oh man, man, man uh, Good start chicken good start to the uh, the uh, the post chicken fails I guess so we're going to need to shock here and here Now I don't think I'm gonna have any GB left for critters so I'm hoping that, uh, where did that rocket come from? Come on, can we finish this out? Can we finish this out? Please, for the love of God. Oh my good lord. Whew. Okay. <laughs> it, not, nothing changes, guys. Nothing changes with the chicken. Like, it's it's always got to be as difficult as possible. Like, God forbid we do, like, a... We get like just a normal like a normal run or like don't do anything stupid for once like there's always some sort of <laughs> I Cannot believe that we did that we got to play that back that like there was so many things that went wrong there And we somehow somehow managed to do it unboosted um, We'll play it in force speed because obviously we just watched it But I mean holy good lord like that that landing just drove me nuts the flare was off We lost like half the girls at this point. They walked sideways there almost everything I did was incorrect even this, this. Oh, okay, the rocket is in range. <laughs> so even the scouting I did incorrectly. Even the scouting. Holy jeez. That was um. I, I don't even know what to say about that. That was just like. Whew, that was lucky. Lucky, I guess, is a good way to uh, to describe that one. But uh, but anyways, guys, we got a hammer in here. We're gonna dive on in. We're gonna get to like stage five or six or something probably. But um, I just wanted to touch on this just in case anybody didn't realize, but yesterday we got um, a, a short maintenance break and I was kind of excited when it happened. Uh, I thought maybe we were going to get like a surprise Christmas update or something or like I was, I was pretty sure like I was kind of assuming that we were going to get um, at least like the, the villager update thing where they get like the new uh, like the Christmas like party hats and stuff or whatever. Like I assumed they were, that, that was what uh, the maintenance break was for, but... Uh, it said it was just for general server uh, issues, and then when I looked it up on the forums later uh, last night, I, um, it, I I saw that it said that it's for changing the um, the the Doctor Terrence layouts, the Doctor Terror layouts that keep um, like uh, that that are being that have been the repeating themselves uh, lately. So that's really cool because um, I know a lot of people have been complaining about that. And honestly, it wasn't really a big deal to me, and I didn't even really notice it until people started talking about it. But um, I think that's really cool. Like, obviously, it's not a huge update. I mean, for Boom Beach, it kind of is <laughs> right now. But um, uh, I think that's going to be really nice. Like, maybe... I'm assuming it's not going to be any different than how they were, like, set up before. Um, like, they're, I'm, I'm assuming they're not going to be, like, too, too crazy. But we can speculate a little bit here, guys. We can get a little speculation going. So, uh, we've never seen prototypes in, uh, in Dr. Terror yet. And that's a huge reason why it's... Um, 
it's not that difficult like it doesn't have the, the difficulty of gear harder right like people will generally consider uh war factory a lot harder than um than dr terror obviously we get um we get more attacks um or like continuing attacks for for war factory so that's how that balances out but um i would like to see some prototypes on dr t i would like it to see it made uh harder in general i think that would be really cool um <laughs> some easy ways they could do that would uh, would just be simply adding in prototypes like they don't up the statue percentages um, in a major way at all really to make it more um, to make it more difficult or just something like kind of different would be cool to see like even if it looked different like if we got the like you know how on uh, mega crab we get the the mega core uh, I think if we had that on um, like just for stage seven I think that would be a cool like implement like it would just like make it look uh, different right I think also we could add in more stages um, we, 20 is probably too much like how it used to be um, but uh, I, I, I think they could add, I think 10 stages would be good because then that's gonna get lower level players uh, a lot more resources we'll switch up the base here once guys um, we'll go to which one do we want here um, we'll, we'll just load this one up clear the trees uh, actually, we got some prototype. Um, we should be able to get like somewhat um, decent on Hammerman today, I think, because we've got the the hot pot and the damage amp, and I consider those um, to be some of the best Hammerman defenses uh, for no ice. I'm not sure um, what changes specifically when you when you implement a lot of ice. Um, I don't need that to be on the damage amp. Um, we'll just run it like that, whatever. Uh, hopefully, get through stage six like that. But um, but yeah, I think that would be a cool way to, uh, like, I think that's kind of what people want is like a harder Dr. Terror because it's just kind of getting, um, obviously it's getting repetitive with the same stages, but I mean, I don't know, it'd be cool to, um, just to have like a, <clears throat> a new, like maybe the, the Volcano Terror could have 10 stages and like prototypes or something like that. Um, I think that would be really nice just to kind of change things up. Okay, so we got past stage five, guys. We'll see if we can do stage six. If not, that's probably going to wrap it up, but, um... But uh, yeah, definitely interested to hear your thoughts on um, on how you feel about uh, Dr. T right now. Like, do you think it's um, too boring? Like, I honestly kind of look forward to the Dr. T events uh, more so than anything aside from probably War Factory. Uh, Imitation game's too easy. Hammerman Defense is just, I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not a huge, like, if you have a lot of ice, maybe it's more exciting. But <clears throat> I don't find it that, um, like, that rewarding to, to get past stages. Um... Well, maybe if we get if we get to stage, stage seven, uh, we just did stage six. But, um, but yeah, I think Dr. T is probably my favorite event, um, and we get the most stones from it. Um, specifically, the purple stones, which are probably the most sought after in the game, I would imagine, because uh, no matter what your statue <coughs> statue layout is, you're gonna want that perfect GB uh, masterpiece. All right, so can we do this, guys? We just took out the first two layers pretty easily. Um, all right, so we send in the Zooks in now. We're just roasting this. Like this is this is the worst layout I've ever seen. Like, what is he doing? Is this it? Is that stage seven? Oh my God, we just beat Harriman stage seven, second time ever, guys. After I was just trash talking how terrible, <laughs> how bad this was event was. Oh my God, that is crazy. Stage seven, no ice. That was like. That was the stupidest hammerman I've ever seen. That was probably the easiest one. He literally put out, like, all his heavies he put out, they died. All his warriors he put out, they died. All his riflemen he put out, they just got wiped by the hot pot. Oh, man, that was crazy. Um, so, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for the video today, guys. Uh, let me know down in the comments how you feel about the current current uh, state of the Dr. T's, the Dr. Terrors. Uh, any ways you could think it would be, you think it could be improved, or, um, or just different stuff that you would want to see on it in general. Uh, let me know that down in the comments, guys. That's going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you're interested in entertaining or informative. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Check it out.